Well, credit card companies are trying new ways, faster ways, to get you in and out of the checkout counter. But credit cards carry a little extra surprise you may not know about. Investigative reporter Morgan Lowe tells us the newest way ID thieves may try to steal your information without grabbing your wallet. Arizona ranks number one in the country for identity theft. <laughs> So it's no surprise to see ads like this one, a light-hearted way to remind us to protect what's ours. But new technology encased inside new credit cards may be making it easier for crooks to steal your personal information. A lot of people don't know that their debit and credit cards are RFID tagged. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. It's a chip embedded in millions of credit cards. It can hold your name, credit card number, and expiration date. It allows users to simply place the card next to one of these card readers at a store, and the purchase is done. It's fast and convenient, but experts we track down say it's also a good way to expose your credit card to theft. One of the emerging technologies that people are talking about here, radio frequency ID tags. Demonstrations like this one are all over the Internet. Computer hackers have found a way to reprogram card readers. To find out how, CBS5 traveled to Seattle, the home of an infamous hacker named Pablos. Now, what we're showing here is that um, with a reader like this that we got off of eBay for nine dollars um, and a little bit of code on a computer we're able to extract the credit card numbers ourselves we fuzzed the information because this is a real credit card Pablo says taking this from your card wouldn't take much effort all I gotta do is get close to you with my reader we demonstrate by putting the card in a regular leather wallet Pablo takes the reader and places it close to the back pocket and you'll hear this thing beep that's how she knows that someone's stolen her credit card number, and then it shows up here on a computer screen. And just like that, the card's information is captured. Even card keys we use at work are vulnerable. This sends out a radio wave to a receiver, which unlocks the door. Hackers say these are easily cloned, but One Valley Company claims it's created a security shield of sorts. The Armadillo Dollar is a radio frequency shield. When you slip it into your wallet it, and you fold your wallet, it wraps around your cards and keeps your information private. Catherine Layen markets the Armadillo Dollar. We test her claim by using it on our door card. With the covering, the door won't open. Without it, the door opens. We found it works the same way with credit cards. Still, the banking industry believes this is a solution without a problem. One vice president from Chase Bank acknowledges it is possible to do what we did in a controlled environment. But he says in the real world, it just doesn't happen. We have not seen or nor have our customers witnessed any of that type of activity happening um, in, you know, in, the, in the normal real world environment. Chase Bank also guarantees its customers zero fraud liability for any unauthorized purchases. In any case, Pablos, the computer hacker, says people should know what's in their wallet could end up in the hands of someone else. All we really want to do is let people know what's possible and what level of security really exists and they can decide for themselves. Chase Bank and American Express tell us they have multiple layers of security that come along with their cards but as the hacker we interviewed showed us with one of these scanners every time a company comes up with a secure way of doing business there's always someone looking to breach that security. I'm Morgan Lowe for CBS 5 Investigate.